Hey guys, Ivan here. So Flex Pro Weekend 2023, also known as Italy Pro, and we got our first call out as expected. We do have Regan Grimes and Nathan Diasha and Blessing of Oribu in that first call out but also we got Roman Fritz who I didn't even know that he was competing until like a few days before the show and he brought arguably his best conditioning up to date and honestly in my opinion he's battling here for second who's gonna win this show I think it's pretty clear right off the bat right from the start you can see that Nathan Diasha is just destroying this lineup obviously Regan was just like too big of a hype i mean we fell for it i fell for it personally uh, he does look improved but come on guys i mean nathan diasha won nine pro shows you can say 10 if you include this one i think this one is in the bag for nathan i think he pretty much destroyed every single pose you're gonna see the other poses in a second by the way i found this uh, live stream on youtube and so we have to watch this guy in the corner i have no idea who he is he doesn't speak english i think he's like a french streamer something like that some other language anyways this was your top four this is your top four and once again nathan is killing it we can only talk about who's gonna be second third and fourth i think it's pretty safe to say that regan is gonna be second because he's in the middle here initially so the judges obviously based on their first impression based on the posing routines they thought regan is battling for the first against nathan diasha i'm not so sure if that's really the case you're gonna see the other poses as well but once again uh, roman is in a great condition regan is not so once again i think he's a little bit bigger than the last time we saw him on stage but not as much as it seemed on Instagram, and I don't think he's in a great shape, like, his conditioning is okay, but he could be leaner, he could be harder, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be in better condition for the next show, for Spain, and maybe for France, if he does that too, uh, maybe he's gonna win one of those shows, probably, yeah, but this one, no, this one is in the bag for Nathan, and now as far as Roman, he's in a great shape, he's not uh, at the level of Regan as far as size, as far as, like, roundness, uh, as far as uh, just overall frame size, I mean, Regan is a bigger man, bigger bodybuilder, has bigger arms, more complete back, stuff like that, but you're gonna see that Roman is in a much better condition, so I'm thinking Roman is actually battling for that second against Regan, a blessing, his side shots are really good, and his upper body is amazing, he's in a great condition as well for his standards, but the legs, the legs look probably worse than ever. I think this, uh, this this struggling for conditioning really brought his legs down big time. You're going to see him in a posing routine, so his legs look really beaten down. Uh, as far as the front lat spread, once again, Nathan, Nathan all day long. He obviously has much better tan than, than Regan and much better polish, like more, probably more oil and just better conditioning overall. And I think he's just bigger, thicker. He's just a better bodybuilder. Right now, at this point in these guys' careers, Nathan is just much better than Regan. He's miles ahead, if you ask me. Regan has he Regan probably has more potential, like bigger frame, maybe even prettier structure, but he needs to work a couple of more years to surpass Nathan. Or less if he works much harder. And now, as far as, you know, who's gonna win the second, because of the structure, because of the shape, I would go with Regan, but you're gonna see, especially from behind, how much more conditioned Roman is than Regan. The judges, however, do not have Roman in second, uh, they're gonna have Regan in, in second, because there's gonna be another call-out of just Regan and Nathan, and another call-out of Roman Blessing and that Korean guy anyways uh, this was the, the the front lat spread also another pose that nathan diasha completely dominates and i was afraid that nathan is gonna look you know too prolonged because his torso is kind of long and his lats are high but really it's not an issue i think everything else all of his strong points are coming to light here like his fullness in the chest in the quads there are no gaps in his physique everything is filled out everything is like super conditioned and hard and i think the the, the tan like his really dark and on this show under this lighting it really helps 
no, from the sides also, like, I, I thought Regan is gonna be good from the sides, and he's good, for sure, he's good, he has really big frame, he's a big guy, he's a tall guy, he's six foot, he's obviously much taller than Nathan, but again, Nathan shows it crazy density through his arms, shoulders, chest, even side leg, uh, Blessing is looking good from the sides, um, Roman not so much, he's showing uh, that he's not really on the level of muscularity as the other guys, he doesn't have that same fullness, but here you can see how sharp sharp Roman is actually from behind, especially uh, in the glutes, in the hamstrings, but the back itself, I mean, it's definitely here between Regan and Nathan, I think Blessing is pretty much out of this conversation, he's gonna be fourth best case scenario, if not fifth in my opinion, now in the back double bicep, Regan is good, and we all know his back is really good, and in the back poses, it's much closer than the front poses, but I still have Nathan because of that, you know, conditioning, that polish, that pop that he has, and like the hardness, you know, the density, he definitely looks like a more mature bodybuilder here, and the 10 once again is helping, but Regan is just a bigger man, has a bigger frame, and in the back poses, I think it's very close, these guys are different, I would say, but you could argue that Regan is winning the back poses, Regan's back double, back lat spread also, is very, very good pose, you saw it on Instagram when he posted it, it looked insane, and it does look pretty much the same uh, as it looked on Instagram here, obviously this is a live stream, the, the video footage is not super high quality, I'm sure it's much different in person, I'm sure all of these guys look much more conditioned in person, but yeah, as you can see right here, once again, Regan is bigger, wider, better, bigger structure, right, but he is not as dense as Nathan, like he doesn't have that much pop, that much thick muscle, so once again, even though Regan is bigger, I would go with Nathan here, but uh, also Regan has more details in the hamstrings, like hamstrings, adductors from behind also, he can pop the glutes out and they also look very good, they also look kind of straighted, so very very close, but I would say even if Regan is winning these back poses, he's winning them by a slight margin, right? I mean, it's it's very close, it's definitely much closer than those poses that Nathan is winning, like front poses, like front double, front lat, I would say side chest as well, abs and thighs, most muscular, you're gonna see the other poses in a second, so because of that, I think Nathan is winning this show hands down, even side tricep, I have him, because of conditioning, because of that density through the shoulders and chest, now let's check out abs and thighs, look at the quads, I mean look at the pop of the vastus medialis, the lateral head as well, and this one, when Nathan does this, when he flexes his leg, much more impressive, also the depth of the abs too, so yeah, I think he's definitely winning this one, most muscular, also same story, the sheer density in the chest, in the shoulders, and the quads as well, yeah, Regan is a bigger man, bigger structurally, but yeah, I still have Nathan winning the show. Now, as far as blessing a Wadibu, much better conditioning than Chicago Pro, but his legs really took a beating, obviously, uh, they're melted completely, like there is no, there are no separations, no cuts, no depth, I mean, this just goes to show how good of a coach uh, George Farah actually is, he was able to pick these guys who are not easily picked, I mean, Andrew Jack, the Texas pro, that first time we saw him was really well picked, and Blessing of Audible last year at Indy Pro and New York Pro, he really picked well, and since George Farah stopped working with him, Blessing just can't seem to figure it out, and here, his conditioning is good, I would say even the fullness in the upper body is decent, but legs disappeared, it disappeared, and also like the arms are really flat, I, I don't really like this, this blessing look, I mean, you, I, even if he was at his 100%, I still probably wouldn't have him higher than top 3, but if he was at his 100%, he would probably easily beat Roman Fritz, because blessing is a huge freaking bodybuilder, I mean, everything on his upper body is just so bubbly, so round, it's crazy, and even in the side poses, in the back poses, he can look very good, but when you see his quads from the front, and also, like, it's not just his quads in this show, everything else is kind of, like, pretty flat, and as you can notice, he's shaking the entire posing routine, so I'm sure his electrolytes are in a complete mess, and he can't even flex properly, that's probably hurting his look, it's not just that he's, uh, like, depleted from carbs, I mean, electrolytes, this balance can be a huge issue, 
And yeah, you can definitely see that his conditioning is much improved, but this is definitely not blessing at his 100%, uh, not, especially not his legs. Look at that left leg, like there are no separation, no depth to it, nothing is going on. Uh, he looks like his legs completely atrophied, which I'm sure is not the case. Why the hell would his legs atrophy like that all of a sudden? There is no reason, he's just... Too flat, too flat, unfortunately. Now, as far as Nathan Diasha, he brought it. He brought it for sure. Uh, he, I think this is the first year he's working with the new coach, uh, Stefan from Austria, Urs's coach. That's all I know about this guy. I don't even know what his name is. His Instagram name is uh, The Boss of Outlaw, something like that. Uh, so he definitely picked Nathan properly. This is arguably uh, the best Nathan so far. I mean, it could be. Like, it's a very, very good Nathan. I didn't expect him to be this good, considering that he took a break, that he had, that he tore both of his biceps last year. I mean, having two torn biceps in one freaking year should probably set you back a little, don't you think? No, not in this case, not with Nathan Diasha. He looks probably better than never. And he's gonna win this show, I'm sure. He's gonna qualify for the Mr. Olympia. I hope he's gonna do the Mr. Olympia. And if he does, with this look, I have this guy in my top 10 of the Mr. Olympia. Regan Grimes, arguably, probably, his best look so far, I would say so, I think he's gonna look even better in the upcoming shows, I think he could be a little bit tighter, like a little bit, maybe work on his conditioning a little bit more, maybe fill out even more, maybe he's also a little bit flat, I'm not so sure, but yeah, he's improved from the last time we saw him on stage, uh, is he as good as I thought he would be based on the physique updates on Instagram? No, no, I thought he was gonna be harder and bigger and like fuller, more dense, but I mean, this is a big progress for sure. It's just Nathan who obviously has a perfect peak at this show that's gonna probably prevent Regan from winning it, but the last time we saw these guys on stage it was Prague Pro, I think 2021, and uh, Regan, Regan beat Nathan at that show. But that wasn't Nathan at his best. This, however, is. And this is also Regan at his best. But he could be better. And I'm sure he will be. And as I said, I think Nathan is going to win this show. And he's probably not going to risk it doing another show. Because I, he can only mess it up from this point. Like, he brought perfect pick. That should be enough for him. If he plans on doing the Mr. Olympic, he got his Mr. Olympic qualification. However, if he doesn't plan on doing the Mr. Olympia and he wants to win a couple of shows, then sure, he can keep going. And now for the end, let's check out the final comparison. So we did have Nathan Diasha and Regan Grimes in the top two, and these are your top two competitors. Based on the comments that I saw so far, there are people who believe Regan is going to win this show, but I don't see it. I mean, now in this final callout, I think it was better than the first callout. I think Regan's body came alive with more posing. But still, still, I do have Nathan. I think Nathan is winning this for sure. Like, he's in better condition. He's harder. He's fuller. He's denser. He's thicker. He's, he's definitely a much, like, more matured bodybuilder. And uh, yeah, again, Regan has a lot of potential, but at this point, I don't think he's ready to be beating a well-picked Nathan Diasha. In the back poses, he's giving him a run for his money, he's definitely, and he opened up much better here in this, in this final call-out. And Regan has a lot of back, he has a lot of wit, but once again, you know, the maturity, the density, the graininess, the, the tan, also, they're, all of those things are on Nathan's side. Uh, look at just the, the chest, the shoulders, the quad fullness, the details in the quads. So, yeah, the main thing is conditioning, really. So, I think Nathan came in more, better prepared. Look at the quad here, when he flexes it like that. Big difference, right? And the front double once again. Look at Nathan's biceps. He tore them, but they're looking insane. The same story goes with the front lat. Nathan all day long. So overall, in my opinion, guys, I have Nathan Diasha winning this show. We're gonna find out very, very soon. But if you guys enjoyed this content, this analysis of the show, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more bodybuilding content like this. And if you guys are enjoying all this awesome content that I'm making for you and you want to support me, there is the link down below. It will lead you to the Old School Labs website where you can check out all the awesome supplements that they have. And if you need something, you can buy it. But make sure that you use the code EVAN and that's how you can support me and this channel. Thank you guys so much. See you soon in the next video. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.